Trump really lost his job. Trump really lost his job. Get the van. Trump really lost his job. 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 Look at that. Trump really lost his job. Trump really lost his job. Get his dance, y'all. Get his dance. Trump really lost his job. The lost his job. Trump really lost his job. Trump really lost his job. Get his dance. Trump really lost his job. Trump really lost his job. Get his dance. Trump really lost his job. Trump really lost his job. Get this thing. Trump really lost his job. Cause he is a dummy for nothing. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> he about to lose his job. He about to lose his job. What's his name? Have to lose his job. He is a dummy for nothing. Yeah. Trump really lost his job. Trump really lost his job. Get this thing. Trump really lost his job. Cause he is a dummy for nothing. <laughs> Dummies. How do people be a dummy here? That's why I don't like dummies now. We ain't need to wait on no Nevada. We ain't gotta wait on no Georgia. Shout out to Georgia, y'all still turn group. I fucked with y'all. Shout out to shout out to shout out to Las Vegas, Nevada. The girls. At the end of the day, we have surpassed. They're saying at press time in some places the black vote turnout was 90%. Peep down. Look what happened, black folks, when y'all go out and vote. That's how much y'all vote don't count. In some places the black vote turnout was 90%. I want to say the average was just above 80, if I'm not mistaken. And um, don't quote me on that. Don't come back and say Shaky was wrong. It was really 73. But um, I want to say the average is 80. I just I, I just looked at this not too long ago. I'm in the shower now. But in some places, niggas was voting 90 percent 90 how you vote don't count look what happened ninety percent ninety percent shout out to black people don't get it twisted black folks this is a win for us let me see you why because it showed that the black vote does matter when we use it when we use it, black folks. When we use it. When we use it. Why? When we use the black vote, it does count. When we don't use it, taking our vote don't count. It doesn't hurt. Of course it don't count if you don't do it. And we say again. Hey, Sippers. Hey, Shaggy. Hey, Shaggy. Hey, what's going on? I need my page back, Uncle Shaggy. I need my page back, Uncle Shaggy. What did the guy tell you? What's going on? Yeah, but the um the, the man, he was kind of busy, so I'm waiting for him to hit me back. He did what? Hey, Shaggy. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, he, um, <laughs> He had a lot of stuff going on, but somebody was trying to, somebody was hacking into his account and um, logging in from different areas. And what they did was when they got into his account, when they got into his account, they had end up changing his age as in he was under 13. So they locked out, he's locked out his Oh, wow. Trying to recover no, his account. So, so did you send it to Instagram? So when you send it to Instagram, what did they say? Instagram haven't even replied to me. Hey. I've been I I just sent my ID over and over and over and over again. They mm -mm. they not trying to help. Nothing. Matt, stand up. We, we got to get back Shake to the account. Um, I'm trying to get my account back. Huh? Shake, I'm trying to get my account back. I I know Mac Attack. Listen, we're gonna try to do our best to get your account back, sir. I promise you that. Who, did you vote, Mac? Did you okay. Vote? That's <laughs> Mac, did you go vote? Wait, hold on. 
What'd you say? <laughs> I asked him if he went vote. Who did he vote? You went vote? Who you voted for, Mac? Tell him who you voted for. Kettle Gates for president. <laughs> He, he said Kevin Gates for president. You know him that and his Gates. That's better than, but that's better than Trump. That's better than Trump. <laughs> <laughs> so I take that. I would definitely take that. Uh, tell, so, all your, tell all your cyber anus, hey, so y'all can't get in my account right now. Y'all can't get in my account right now. Tell them, say, but I love y'all. You, you got a lot of money there, sir. Wait, wait, wait. I, you have a lot of money there, sir. Can I borrow a dollar, please? This one? <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's two now. <laughs> no, let me say what, how much I got. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven dollars. You got, you got more money than me, though. You have now, you got more money than me. I need to borrow a couple of dollars from you. You got some, say, I got you. I got you. Some say, you got to come visit us down here, Uncle Shaky. <laughs> you got a little <laughs> Tell him for, say, he need, say he need to DJ for your birthday. Say my birthday, December 21st. I need you to come DJ. Okay. So you are a Capricorn or a Sagittarius? My birthday is December he is sad. 21st. Okay, I'm going to say Come meet my I'm a Capricorn. A crazy yeah. one. <laughs> my mom a Capricorn, I'm going to say. Okay. I will definitely, I must, I will see about, I will see about MC for your birthday and finding you a DJ. But I need to, <laughs> I need to see them $2. So, uh, Kevin Gates for president. He said, Kevin Gates for president. <laughs> say, bye, Uncle Shaky. Say, love y'all, sippers. Love you too, Shaky. I love y'all, sippers. We're going to get your account back. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. 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 I don't think they want this move. I don't think they want this move. The people that voted for Trump is really rich white folks. They got a couple of little dumb, it's, it's, not, it's not that many of them. Understand what I'm saying. Listen what I'm telling you. Let me see something. Check this out. Get this thing. I ain't gonna say that wrong. Y'all know I don't say that wrong. The ones that might actually do something are few and far between. It's not, that's not crazy in New Orleans. Can't speak very well. But New Orleans is the most black city. You feel me? In your mostly black cities, they're not gonna do all that. But we strapped up this area. Now maybe if you're in a rural white area, those people that actually, those true white supremacists and stuff like that, they don't wanna be known as a white supremacist. You feel me? There's not, I don't think, listen, the people that are want to do something or might want to do something, I'm not saying don't be careful and don't protect your family. Of course, do that at all costs. But this is, is let me see something. I don't, just, just be real. Now is not the time. Listen, see what I'm saying. Hear me out, people. Black people and white people. We have a long way to go for equal and true racial equality in this country. We have a long way to go. However, now is not the time to divide more. Trump has divided us enough. We're never gonna get, and this is not, a, this is not a, 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 a speech of, a speech of, so, so listen, black people, let's not get in the mindset of, okay, now it's time for war. It's not. It's really a time to, for peace. It's time to it's time to see that the power is not in, in, in shooting and all this other stuff and all this stuff like that. The power is going to vote. That's where your power lies. So it's not a time for us not to divide, but for us to unite. Understand that. You feel what I'm saying? It's not a time for us to say, oh, okay, now we got to go do something to these white folks. Or even for the few dumb white people that love Trump so much, that they want to go do something stupid. Guess what? It's not that time. The time is not for us to be more divisive. That then makes everything we've done so far, we just like Trump at that point. Now is the time for us to unite people. Understand that. 
it's the, the Biden has already said, I'm not gonna be a president for just the people that voted for me, but for the people that didn't vote for me as well. We are tired of this. Listen, I agree with y'all. I love y'all so much, and I don't want to ever see nothing happen to y'all. But it's no when when we have some type of civil war and civil unrest and civil divisiveness, none of us win. Understand that. Understand that. On God for what? They, listen, the, the people that voted for Trump are middle are workers, middle class white people, middle and middle class, the Trump supporters by large numbers of are rich white people, middle class white people, and some poor white people. The people, the few, the few that have that fucked up ideology, the KKKs and the Proud Boys, those people are very small in number. Understand that. If those people were large in number, we wouldn't even have the right to vote, period. So understand that those small those small facets with, let me see something. If you cut off the head, the body shall fall. Understand that. Their head, their snake is, is has been cut off. So now is not the time to just, now is not the time to, to, to say, oh, let's arm up, let's do this, let's do that. No. This is what we need to do. And this is just real. Y'all might, might not want to hear it because it's not popular. It's not popular. Oh, that's a rally up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's also against the law, and it makes you know better than them. And I'm a person of action. Trust me. But right now, it's not that time. We have just shown black people, in some places, the black vote was as high as 90%. 90%. Black people, listen to what you just did. You came out and showed that your black voice, your but not only do black lives matter, but black votes matter. And that by itself is saying this. You have shown your daughters that you don't have to have this angry black woman, this blah, 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 conformist type black woman ideology to be successful in this country. You could be a strong-minded, aggressive, and smart sister and make it to the top. We have just shown this to our daughters. And so the next thing you want to show them is that us going out in these streets and acting a fool with the few white people that's dumb enough to be part of this foolishness? Listen, sippers, I'm going to tell y'all now. Celebrate this moment and look for ways to unite, not divide. It's not that time. I promise you, it sounds good. It sounds, oh, let's be up in arms. The, 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 the Trump supporters gonna do all this. The Trump supporters that might actually physically do something are so small in number and so stupid in the mind that it isn't. There's so many Trump supporters that's just going to concede defeat and call it a day. It is, it's, 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 they outnumber them 100%. They have a lot of angry white people. At the same time, they're gonna be angry only because their candidate lost. Let's not, uh, let's not, it, this is not supposed to be a situation. There are differences in between. Black and white people. I'm agreeing with that. There are, there is racial inequality. There is racial injustice. There is racial unrest in this country. But listen to what you have just shown us. You have just shown us that the way to circumvent that is to go out and vote peacefully. Not go out in the streets and start shooting up white people. That's the dumbest thing ever. Don't ever do that. That's stupid. Be careful. The good old ones been waiting for this race war. No, baby. They have not been waiting for this race war. There was a black president for eight years. They have not been waiting for this. They had eight years to, to do something. Stop. <laughs> there was a black president for eight years. They have not been ready for this great war, great war. Trump got them a little press, and people realized how stupid they was, and they voted against it. What are y'all talking about? Stop being stupid. They, they've not been waiting for this race war. We are divided enough. It's not time to divide some more. Understand? It's the time to reach across and say, listen, we are one. We are a country. We are all American. Trump tried to divide us. Trump said black people go back to Africa. You know, Trump tried to divide us. And he did. He was successful. And so what he did was shed light and give voice to some of the few ignorant white people that are out there. But just like there's a few 
ignorant white people, there's just some, there's some smart white people too. I'm just saying it is what it is. And so what I'm saying is this. We die. We die. It's not a race war. It's not going to be a race war. And it shouldn't be a race war. Now is the time to work together. Black people united. We voted 90% in some places, and I think the average is 80 across. Black votes counted. So this, what this means is now you have the attention of not only the Democrats but the Republicans that when you vote, you will do it. We, you will do what you need to do. So that means that they will start catering to us and then changing the narrative from the racial injustice. We really, I'm proud of our people, but I don't want to be just a part of our people to go incite some foolishness from 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 a group of from a group of fucked up white people in Alabama. Talking about, yeah, we're gonna ride the truck. No, those people will not bring us to their level. We will not. Of course, I'm saying that all the time to protect yourself and your family. That's what I'm saying. But at the same time, don't go looking for this stuff. Don't put this in your mindset. This is not the time to divide. This is the time to unite, my people. This is a united time. We have just sold our daughters that they can be at the highest level applied to politics. This woman will be the second strongest woman on the face of this planet. And no shade to Biden, but he's a little older. So there's a good chance she'd be the strongest person on the face of this planet. A black woman, a sister, the mother of us all. And you telling me, let's go and let's go out there and let's go, let's go, let's go touch them with the gun. Let's go touch them with the gun. No, that's not what we do. We put him there, we hold him accountable. We've given him a gun. In two years, we're gonna have an opportunity to give him a give him a bullet. My voters in Georgia, please, in y'all special election, vote blue. In the special election y'all gonna have in January, vote blue. Because he will not be able to change anything unless you give him a Congress that can do so. You got Mitch McConnell still there, it's gonna do it's gonna stop everything. So at the same time, what we need to do is not just give Joe the gun, but give him the bullets too. We, 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 we give them the bullets. I said, we give them the cut. Let's give them the bullets, y'all. So my people in Georgia, y'all going to have a chance in January to send one more big message, and that's to take the, the, the majority away from the McConnell. It's time to unite, not divide, my people. It's time to unite, not divide. Don't go out there with that foolishness and cite stuff with the two or three white people that, that feel like this is something to fight over. This is nothing to fight over. We showed out in droves. Okay, my people, I love y'all. I'm not going to tell y'all nothing I don't think right. And I'm never going to speak from my heart. It's not the time to divide. It's not the time to be on for war. It's the time to get us back to some degree of normalcy. It's time to listen to the science and, 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 and protect ourselves and our families from this pandemic so that it doesn't be affecting us no more. It's a time to get the economy back on track. It's a time for together. It's not the it's not divisiveness. I can't feel nothing on the end of my, my, my hands all red. A woman and black vice president. Let's show our daughters that. Let's show our daughters. Put your church, put your Sunday's best on. Don't go out there in the foolishness. Put your Sunday's best on black people. Let's make this woman proud. Let's make this woman proud. She's gonna be able to show our daughters, girl, you can do it. And that's so and that's so very important. That's gonna be able to show our nieces that they can do it. And that's so very important. It's not the time to divide, it's the time to unite. Let's get to some degree of normalcy. We will work on the rest. I know it's a long fight. I'm agreeing with y'all. I know it's so much to do. We are nowhere near close to where we should be. We are nowhere close to where we should be. But guess what? We on the road there. We got a lot of work to do. So we ain't got time to be paying attention to the few hating white people, the three, the three, no, no shade, Alabama, I'm sorry. The, the three, the three country motherfuckers with calling in about some little old black blah, blah, blah. Stop. Ignore that negativity. Listen, y'all know I love me so much, Obama. Y'all know she can't do nothing wrong to my eye. Y'all know that. 
I think a lot of y'all share that sentiment with me as far as Michelle Obama, uh, Michelle Obama is concerned. Michelle Obama told us something, and we, so we fail to do it all the time. When they go low, we go high. So those few white people that's talking about, oh, we don't have a race one or stuff, don't penalize that. Protect you and your family, but don't work about that. We have a lot of work to do. And I will, and if she said, let's go low and go high, she is smarter, she's smarter than me. So at the same time, I'm gonna listen to another small sister. We got one small sister in the vice presidency, and we got another, and we got another small and another small sister telling us what we should do at this time. Do not succumb to that negativity. Please, I'm begging y'all. Do not, I'm a, as a negative person, I'm telling you, don't succumb to that negativity because it only feeds into the negativity. My sister told us when they go low, we go high. That's our time to do that right now. We cannot. We cannot allow, we have just shown our daughter something so monumental that you can be at the highest level of politics in this country and be successful and be a strong-minded sister that does your job and don't have to be unapologetic and be unapologetic about it. Let's not now show them some ignorance because there's a few people that supported Trump that want to be ignorant. When they go low, we got to go high. And that's what I agree with that so cold water. Black people, we turned out in some places up to 90 some percent. Really? That's all black people. That's like just like, that's just like, you know, that's like you're one or two teenagers that just ain't gonna vote because no, no, because no reason she was just staying in the house. But other than that, everybody was winning. The one teenager nobody like anyway. You know. She stayed at the house. But everybody was winning. Up to 90 percent in some 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 jurisdiction. 90% black voters now. Listen. We have a lot of work to do now. It's not over. But you are seeing now the results of your power. Your power is not into going with they, doing what they do. Going and trying to go where they go. The laws we have already seen and complained that the laws that apply to us don't apply to them. And the laws that apply to them don't. And the benefits that apply to them don't apply to us. So if you truly want to be the decisive, this is what you do. Post on your page for the black candidates in Georgia, the two senators that really can make a difference. Post on your, excuse me, your, your Democratic senators in, in Georgia, one on black, one on white, excuse me, John Osterwald and the other one. What, this is what we got to do. We have to stick together. We have to go out there. It's not time for divisiveness. It's not time to be further spread apart. It's time to come together, my people. We have just endured four years of utter, utter horror, horror. Remind us that somewhere, some people still have a fucked up ideology about our race, our culture, and who we are as members of this country. Now it's time to heal. It's time to go back to the degree of normalcy. It's time to take the scientist's recommendation and put this pandemic in check. It's time for that. It's not time to be more divisive. I promise you. Look what we do when we unite. Why are y'all trying to say, let's go to divide the more? Look what we do when we unite. 90% black people, you won this election. Don't divide it now. Don't disenfranchise more yourself. Let's ignore that negative. They're going low. There's going to be some Trump supporters that's going to go low. But black people, what we're going to do is we are going to go high. That's what we're going to do. Y'all feel me? I need y'all to understand that part. The, and, 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 and that's not my words. That's Michelle Obama's words. I'm not that smart. But that made a whole lot of sense to me. How you going to beat me going low and I'm high? You can't reach me. How you going to hate from outside the club? You can't even get in. How you going to hate from outside the White House? You can't even get in. <laughs> we have the party in the White House, y'all. Y'all tell me there are a few people out there that can't get in, talk about they hate something. Girl, let's not go be a part of that. We got to unite right now, people. We have to, we have to put together. We got to put aside some of our differences. And no shade, this is what we have to do. We have shown white people that our not only do our black lives matter, but our black votes matter. So now it's time for them. They have now had a rude awakening. This is the wake up call. What it is, black people, that you need and want? What it is to pick us? You since you can vote us out and in. We now realize that we have to give you what it is that you need and want. And it's time for us to come to the table with the, with the, with the white people. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's time for us to come to the table with the white people and say, listen, criminal justice reform, we need it. Financial and financial literacy, we need it. Equilateral treatment under the law and justice, we need it. We need these things. This is that time. We turned out in droves. And, 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 and they saw that. And they know now that the black votes also matter. And because of that, now it's time for us to not be stupid, not be ignorant, not go out there with all that foolishness and fuckery. It's now time to put on our Sunday's best. What our grandma Ben told us. Put on your Sunday's best and let's go to the table and unite. No matter how you like it, no matter how you say it, the white folks ain't going nowhere, the black folks ain't going nowhere. We got to learn to get along. It is what it is. No, y'all can't get around that. Ain't none of y'all packing up going back to Nigeria or Africa. I'm not. I ain't going back to it. I'm over here. I ain't going back to it. None of y'all packing up. And I see none of y'all, I see none of you motherfuckers get on the boat chair. On the plane talking about, oh, fuck it, I'm going back to Nigeria. I ain't never, I ain't never saw nobody do that check. So at the end of the day, the only choice you have is we have to coexist with those people. They are here, we are here. Now it's time to unite that. We've shown them that when we stick together, we will vote you out, we will vote your racist ass the fuck up out of there. We've shown them that. That's what we showed them. And so now they know, okay, look, what it is that we can do to make the situation better. We have to come with strong ideas. We have to forefront and highlight our leaders, our young black leaders, like the sisters from Executive T and these, these sisters. We have to vote in and put in place and people in power. We, got to, we can't just stop here. We can't just stop here. We can't just sit down and say, okay, well, we bought it for Biden, I got nothing time. No, you have to also vote for your senators. You have to also vote for your congressman. You have to also vote on the local level. You have to still do that. And guess what? Yes, it's tiresome. Yes, it's tedious. But that's the only thing that gets their attention. When they see we have the power to get them out of power. We told Trump today, we will not stand for your racism. We will not stand for your, your utter buffoonery of our race. We will not stand for you ignoring the fact that black lives matter. We will not stand for that. We will not stand for the fact that you have one black person in your entire administration. We will not stand for that. We will not stand for that that you have habitually and continually lied in and played in our faces. We will not stand for that. And guess what? They know this because he was very popular with them, his own people. And so because of that, they have no choice, no choice but to sit down and come to the table with us to get this stuff rectified. This is not where the fight ends, and that's a big point. This is not where the fight ends, it's only where it begins. But the way to do it is not to go and entertain the utter, the utter idiocracy of the few stupid, ignorant, racist people that Trump so blatantly highlighted. That's not what we do. We're going to do what our grandma and them told us. We're going to put on our Sunday's vest, and we're going to come to the table because now we have a voice. We're not going to make this sister look bad. We're going to give her the utensils that she needs to do her job. We're not going to make Brother Joe Biden look bad either. We're going to give him the utensils. We're going to go out. Yeah, they got a Republican sitting right now, but guess what in two years we're going to do? We're going to give them the bullets. Now, if they don't do nothing, we're going to do one more thing, and that's to show them that we do got the power, and we'll take your bitch and stuff out of there too. So that's what we need to do. She going to fight for us, but we got to give her the utensils. We can't tell her, go fight for us and don't give her. We did that to Obama, bad like a motherfucker. We went vote, oh, yeah, Obama, Obama, Obama. And then guess what happened? We took the, we, we gave him the gun and had no bullets in it. The whole time, he, six years, he had a Republican Senate and House. Six years. Couldn't get nothing passed. Couldn't even get a nomination. They took away school lunches, girl. Fucking with it, fucking with it, fucking fucking because we ain't going to vote. But guess what? Just like the 90% went for Biden, that's the start. I want 90% turnout in Georgia. In Georgia, the two Democratic candidates, because we're going to take that Republican majority right there. But the next part about that, in two years, we are going to resound. We're going to go out there, and we're going to go, and we're going to vote again, and we're going to make the moves we need to make in order to get the things that we need for our 
people. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to be ignorant. We're not going to stoop to their level. We're not going to go low. We're going to have a great, powerful mindset and move forward. I love y'all. Listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. They would like you to believe this. They would like you to believe that. They would like you to believe a lot of stuff. You heard me? And, and when it comes down to it, come down, you have to actually make the determination within yourself. But this is what I want y'all to understand. Black people and white people, this is what I want y'all to understand. This is a very trying time in our country. This is a very important thing. We are facing very important problems. And we need important people to solve them. We are, ha we are having hard, we, 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 we cannot allow ourselves to succumb to the polarization and, 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 and the discord and, 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 and the separation from us at this point. Now is not that time. We have very, we have tough problems and we need tough people to solve them. I'm very glad, I'm heartfelt. And it, and it, it warms my heart that I got to call my daughter today and say, see my baby? Black girls rock. Black women rock. It's not the, it's not the end. It's the beginning. We have a long road ahead. I don't want y'all to be excited of that. But I don't want y'all to be giving up for your foolishness and, 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 and fuckery with this race war and all this stuff like that. That's an that's a, that's a L for, for everything that we've accomplished and we have to fought. Thus far, I'm not saying all our problems will be solved overnight. It's not. I'm here to tell you it's not. All our problems will not be solved overnight. It's not going to happen. We have a lot of work to do. But now is the time to do it. I love y'all. Congratulations, President elect Joseph R. Biden, and Vice President elect Sister Kamala Harris. Congratulations. Congratulations. And I and I'm sure all the Skip Nation look forward to not only work, working with you, but seeing the shining examples that you show in your administration. Trump, you bitch you, you done just lost your job. <laughs> you done just lost your job. Bitch, I'm mad. You done just lost your job. Because you is a dummy for nothing. Yeah, Trump just lost his job. <laughs> Trump just lost his job. I had to be fair to y'all. I couldn't be fair. Nothing else. So if you bitch you, you lost your job. Well, ah, come in and put out every line, bitch. What you want me to find for your own employment, bitch? You get the 106 or the 107, sir. You need the bank payment? Yeah. So if you bitch you, you lost your job. Well, ah, you lost your job. Well, you want the duck? What you want? <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you lost your job on me. Do you get the 99 or the 104? I got your bank paid me. Oh, you want to pay it now? You want to pay a stimulus now? You mean you said a little stimulus more? You ain't got no job no more? Honey, brother. <laughs> Honey, how much wrong me? <laughs> you trying to get that bank paid me? You done lost your job, bro? <laughs> Trump just done lost his job. Trump just done lost his job. <laughs> yeah, you bitch. What you want the <laughs> You want the <laughs> That's who gonna find money for me. Come on, wait, I thought I paid the stimulus. What you ain't gonna do with that, bitch? <laughs> what you ain't gonna spend this on? <laughs> you ain't paying the part, bro. <laughs> what White House, Donald? <laughs> what election, Donald? What Pennsylvania? With what pen You wanna be elected with, with what Pennsylvania, Donald? <laughs> Melania has already moved out, Donald. You didn't even win Georgia, Donald. <laughs> like, it's just really Texas, Donald and Harry. <laughs> what tax returns, Donald? I didn't even see you file taxes yet. <laughs> With what? You want to get unemployment with what stimulus, Donald? 
It's a Woot Movie. Woot Movie Company, Donald. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? what? They say Donald Trump got a list, but don't talk to me. Like girl. <laughs> girl, I'm about to get off this live, but you're doing too much time. <laughs> I'll be taking a long day today, girl. I got a lot of body to work. <laughs> I got a lot of body to work. She does not deserve a lifetime of attention. Them hoes, big man. All right, so let me just take my shower, wash my legs, do a little bit of this. My clean, excuse me, my very clean, sparkling clean bushes. Oh, <laughs> love that. 